New goals finally. So with these two just around the corner, or two months away, it can be hard to tell with Valve, I thought it might be a good time to have a look at what skins the release might bring. There is 100% going to be a case with the update. 100% unless it turns out I'm wrong anyway. But at some point- I think Operation are 100% bro. They've been cooking up something for sure. We haven't up on Operation in, in, in ages. They can't release an Operation right now. Let me tell you. Because dark, dark Operation means maps, right? Custom maps. Mission maps. Those maps they would have to do in Source 1 and in Source 2. It's different uh, builds. That's why they don't do it. You know? Mm, we will get with CS2 release, of course, in Operation. At some point, they will definitely have to release the first case C I think. CS2. And I want to talk about what might be in it, plus all the other shit this update might end up bringing. So, to focus on the main thing people are really going to care about, gold, gold, let's gold. talk golds. It's fairly obvious Valve are holding back new goals for CS2. That's why the Revolution case, which I swear to God must have been originally intended for CS2 based on its name, has the ancient clutch case goals rather than anything more recent. Like, these goals are from 2018. They are very old. Valve, so, what could Oh, God. The knives. Chad, Kukri knife got already leaked. Not my favorite. What could the new goals be? Well, there's three main possibilities. Firstly, Valve could use some of the new knives down to mine from the game's files a couple of months ago. Twin blade, boss. Kukri looks like a Bowie knife. Navaja x Bowie. Stuff like the Kukri and the twin blade. Would these be popular? Well, if they've got <laughs> the OG finishes, probably not. That is disgusting. Not. I, I don't think that's really going to take the community by storm at this point. On their own, they're probably not going to be that much more interesting to people than the Shadow Web Knives are at the moment, and those are definitely not the most hyped knives you will find in CSGO right now. But there is a way Valve might be able to make them significantly more interesting, and this is by introducing new finishes to them. New finishes on new knives for a new game, nah. very fitting, or new finishes on old knives. Hell like, bro, I hate these. I've seen this. I've seen this concepts there by Gregory. I think is his name. Gangnir knife, Wild Lotus knife. I don't like. Hello, boys. I've got footage of anyway. I didn't make this. But uh, I could see people liking it. Which, like, sure, if people like it, release it. Designs, by the way, they're from Games Re Gregory. I just want to make that clear. This is a very cool option, though. It would no doubt be extremely popular if Valve chooses to take it, and it's very likely they'd also pick iconic finishes to adapt to knives. So something like the Gungnir, for example, is a possibility. I mean, that looks nice. Like a blue law, I could see that. Ability. What are many possibilities? But I, I really like this one, so I'm going to use it as a figurehead. But there is one final option Valve might also go for, and this is just the Shadow Web Knives with Chroma Finishes. I've showcased these a lot before, so I won't talk about them for too long. Obviously, they would be quite popular. Doppers look great in CS2, but I do think overall new finishes would be best for CSGO. But what Valve ultimately settle on is anyone's guess. But We've been waiting for the Emerald finishes and stuff, Sapphire, like uh, uh, on, on stuff like Skeleton Knife for such a long time, no? Chad, I remember them even liking a post. Do you remember? Like, I thought the next case would have those 100%, like, Sapphire Skeleton Knife and stuff, because they liked a post where it, uh, like, somebody showed it or whatever, and they liked it, and then a case came out a couple of weeks after or something. But it wasn't those knives. 100%, like, they will get released at one point. It, there's a lot of other questions when it comes to the new skins we'll get. Firstly, we know skins for things like utilities, the bomb and the Zeus of plant because now they've got inspect functions, and it's entirely possible these could come out on day one. But only one of these things, the Zeus, actually has skins enabled in the workshop at the moment, suggesting that while skins for other items are possible, hey, they may not be immediately happening. Of course, Valve could- Why is he showing that clip? Would simply make these finishes themselves, but I think it is unlikely they'd only add the Zeus to the workshop and not anything else. That said, there are some other pretty intriguing possibilities when it comes to new skins when CS2 releases. Many people have suggested an operation could be released, and it's true, an operation does seem to have been cut based on data mine stuff found in the CS2 game files, but I think it is probably a bit unlikely to come out when CS2 releases, 
given the scale of Seers 2's overhaul, I think there's going to be so much stuff there that I probably won't see it as necessary or probably just make things harder. So I think we're going to be waiting on that at least for the time being. But and Chad, would you agree? I think that would be a missed opportunity from Valve. Not that Valve cares, or like if they if they care, if they miss out an opportunity, it seems like they're working at their own pace or like doing their own stuff in their own way. But CGZ if HGA if you release a game that pe that everybody has like seen at one point or maybe even tried at one point, but then left to play something else, like this is the game that brings everyone back to like at least try it out, you know, and then to welcome those people without any, I don't want to say content, but what happens if you make a new account and you play CS2? You have this, like, you have you can win one game a day and you need, like, an order. You can't even play competitive. Like, what do you do? Um, other than play casual and deathmatch or danger zone or whatever, which are, aren't really popular, popular right now. You have, to, like, an operation. That's the welcoming, uh, uh, like, perfect welcoming thing. No, you have something to play, something to, like, achieve or whatever. And as well for Valve, lots of money because everybody buys the pass. Another possibility is that CSGO's weapon drops, which are mostly from 2014, might end up being replaced, either partially or completely. And CS2 would be an awesome chance to do it, and it'd be a great chance to introduce a lot of low-level skins for things like utility. That's a sick RBP, by the way, bro. Fikes Titan Ops, uh, uh Safari Mash. Things like utilities and the zoo. Look, look at the name tag. Alcoholism. Aware? like utilities and the Zeus, although the aforementioned problems with that last part mean it doesn't seem hugely likely. There's also an open question of which maps should even be represented if they do do this. I mean, it's likely maps like the Overhaul Overpass will get a new collection, but Valve may well reserve that for something more special. In fact, they might just go down the Anubis route and add a package to the in-game store. That's another option to insert a new collection in there. And because of these problems, I've got doubts that an overhaul of the old weapon drops is on the table. Although I do think it'd be pretty neat if it happened. And again, if they were going to add low level skins for the utilities and the Zeus, best opportunity out there. Still, there is a lot of cool stuff potentially on the table to be excited for. It's really just a matter of when they'll finally get around to it. As we know, Valve do generally keep us waiting, but at this stage, it does seem like it might actually finally be imminent. And that is kind of cool. I hope we get some cool stuff. I hope it's not a letdown. I really want some new goals. I think the community really <laughs> needs some new awesome goals. Twisted. I think that hopefully, skins-wise, will be Valve's number one priority when it comes to this update. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya. So I like this twin bed, twin bed knife a, a lot. Is this just me? That looks sick. I f love that. Gives you like M9X skeleton vibes or something. I don't know. Just me? Really? Wow. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Boys, W video as always, of course. Mr. A couple of months. Hey, Zeus. If you don't follow a second channel, there you go, right here, boom. Leave a sub, ya already know.